guys, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another Driving with John Chow. Right now, I'm headed for Fletcher Jones, Mercedes-Benz. Uh, I'm going to get the car wash and while I'm there, I'm also going to go check out uh, the new SLS AMG GT. I'm in the market for a new car and well, basically the only thing that's more higher end than this SL550 is an SLS, so that's what I'm gonna be looking at. And they, Fletcher's got a couple sitting there. I'm gonna go check them out and see which one I like. Well, right now I guess the difference is, do I go with the convertible or do I go with the go-wing door? You know, because the, the SLS has doors that go up, go-wing. And I love those doors, but you know, the car's being used down here in California, where right now it's already well, 75 degrees. So that's practically convertible weather. As a matter of fact, and actually down in California, it probably should be required by law to drive a convertible. But I, I love those gold wing doors, <laughs> right? So the price difference between them is $6,500, which is really nothing, you know, since the car started over two, they, they cost over 200,000 bucks. And so what's another $6,500, right? Eh? But, uh, so I'm kind of torn between the two, go wing or convertible. I don't know what which one to take. So perhaps you can help me out, um, you know, uh, what which, which, which you go for. If you, if you had a choice between an SLS, between two SLS AMG, one's a go wing, one's a convertible, which one would you get? Let me know in the comments and um, help me decide. Tell me your favorite color, options, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Back to, the top, back to the main topic now. <laughs> what, what I want to talk to you guys about today is trading freedom for freedom. Now, what do I mean by that? What is your ultimate goal? What is your ultimate goal? A lot of people will say many things. You know, they want to live in a better house. They want to send the kids to private school. They want to do this and, and do that. I would say all, all of those goals relate to one thing, and that's freedom. Freedom. You want to be free of your job. You want to be free of worrying about money, about bills and that kind of stuff. You want, you want to buy a car, you need money for that. So what buys freedom? What is the biggest component that gets you freedom? Money. That's basically it. Money buys freedom. If you look at all the stuff that we want, most of them, the majority of them, requires money. Right? So if you um, want freedom, you need money. And this is why everyone tries to get money. Uh, a lot of people, they think, I want money, I want money. The truth of the matter is you don't really want money. You want what money can get you. See, money is just paper. That's all it is. It's just a piece of paper that's not even backed by anything anymore. It used to be, used to be backed by gold, but now it's just backed by the taxing power of the government. So it, it's just paper. That's all it is. If, if people lose, if people lose uh, trust in it, the money is worthless. So what you want is freedom. Money buys freedom. That's why people try to make money to trade the money for freedom. And how do people trade for money? Most of them trade their time for money. At a job, consulting, spending some sort of where they give up their freedom to trade for money. So when you look at it in the big scheme of things, what you're actually doing is you are trading your freedom to get money to buy freedom. So you're trading your freedom to get freedom. <laughs> Think about this for a moment. You're trading freedom, freedom, time you could spend doing whatever it is you want to do, but instead of doing that, you're spending your time in indebted servitude to get money so you can buy freedom. When you think about it, it really doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But yet, the majority of people, that's exactly what they do. They trade freedom for freedom. Because, all you know, because to them, 
The only way they can think of making money is to trade away their time or their freedom. Now, I don't trade freedom for freedom. I don't trade, because I don't trade my time for money. I trade other stuff for money. See, once you figure that out, that you, can, you don't have to trade your time for money, you can trade other stuff for money. Like in my case, you know, I trade my blog for money. My blog makes the, um, my blog makes the money. My ClickBank product makes the money. MTTB makes me the money. This way, I don't trade my time for it. I don't trade freedom for freedom. I trade something else for freedom. That means I have all the freedom in the world. Okay, so that's basically the lesson Oh, not that's basically what, what, what I want you to really think about. You know, when you really break it down, you will start to realize that trading freedom for freedom isn't really a smart thing to do. I mean, look at this. You're spending five days at a job, taking away your freedom. You're, you're, you're trading, you're losing five days of freedom that you could be doing something else to work so you can buy, so you can get money, so you can have two days of freedom. You're trading five days of freedom for two days of freedom. You're trading 50 weeks of indebted servitude for two weeks of freedom a year. That is a, that's a horrible ratio. I mean, I may trade two days of freedom for five days of freedom or two weeks of freedom for 50 weeks of freedom, but reversing it 50 to two, five to two, <laughs> that's not my idea of fun, honestly. So. That's uh, my thought for today. Uh, don't trade freedom for freedom, you know, because uh, it's just, it's just weird. Not logical if you th really think it through. Anyway, uh, this is John Chow. I will see you guys in the next episode. Like my channel, comment. Do tell me, go wing or convertible? You know, go wing. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the go wing, but I don't know. I mean, here, down here in California, holy God. Uh, I'm, I'm really torn. So I do need your support. I do need your help. Uh, tell me which one would you go for? Go wing or convertible? I should, I should put up a poll and find out, okay? So until next time, guys, I'll see you.